welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at naming branched chain alkenes. There are five rules that we follow when looking at branched chain alkenes. The first is to find the longest continuous chain of carbons that contains the double bond. This will become the base of the name. We choose this because it has the functional group within it and is therefore the most important part of the molecule. You then need to number the chain from the end closest to the double bond. This could be from left to right or from right to left. You then need to insert this number between the carbon prefix, such as pent, and then the suffix en. You need to name the branches, methyl, ethyl, etc. These are added to the base of the name in alphabetical order with their corresponding carbon number. This number comes from the original numbering that you did for the double bond. Where there are multiple branches of the same type, you will still use di and tri. Let's look at some examples. The first thing we need to do is to find the longest continuous chain of carbons that contains the double bond. So that is this four carbons through the middle. This would be butene. We're then going to number the carbons from the end closest to the double bond. In this case, this molecule is symmetrical. We then look at the carbon where the double bond starts. So for here, this is carbon two. So we have four carbons, so the start of the name would be but. On the second carbon, we have the double bond, so we put in two, and then we end with ene. So this molecule is but two ene. For this example, we find our longest continuous chain of carbons with the double bond. We number from the end closest to the double bond. We have five carbons, so this name starts off with pent. The double bond starts on carbon number two. So we put that into the middle of the name and then end with ene. This molecule is pent to ene. This molecule here has another longest chain of five carbons. For numbering, we need to go from the end closest to the double bond, which happens to be from the right. The double bond starts on number one. The start of the name is pent for five carbons. The double bond starts on number one, and then we put ene to show we have a double bond. Let's look now at branched alkenes. Longest continuous carbons with the double bond is three. We number from the end closest to the double bond, and we use that numbering throughout. We can see that we have one branch here with one carbon. Starting with the base of the name, we have three carbons. The double bond is on number one, and the name ends with ene. On carbon number two, we have a methyl group. This goes on to the start of the name. So the full name is 2-methyl-prop-1-ene. For this molecule, our longest continuous chain of carbons is four. We're numbering from either side since the molecule is symmetrical, and it has two branches. These branches are of the same type. Without the branches, we would have butene. The double bond is on number two, so it would be but ene The branches are on number two and number three and are of the same type. They're both methyl branches, so we have dimethyl. The full name is then 2,3-dimethyl-but-2-ene. Let's look at a final example. For this example, whichever way you look at the molecule, you will find that the longest chain is of six carbons. We're going to take this chain here through the middle. We're going to number from the end closest to the double bond and continue that numbering for the other parts of the molecule. We have two different types of branch here. We have a methyl and an ethyl branch. The base of the name is based on hexene. We have six carbons, and on the second carbon, we have the double bond. For the start of the name, we have the two branches. We have an ethyl branch of two carbons and a methyl branch of one carbon. Although the ethyl branch has a higher number, it needs to come first because we look up alphabetical for naming. This means that at the very start of the name, we have four ethyl, two methyl. The full name being four ethyl, 
2-methyl hex 2-ene. Pause the video now and try to name these alkenes. For this first example, we have our longest chain of 6 carbons. We number from the end closest to the double bond. This gives us a name of hex 1-ene, whereas the double bond starts on number 1. It's important to number from the end closest to the double bond, as if we didn't, this would give us a name of hex 5-ene. In this example, our longest chain is of 4, and again, we're numbering from the end closest to the double bond. So we have but 1-ene. Here we have two options for the longest chain. We're going with the most simple through the middle here. Number from the end closest to the double bond, and identify your branch. Without the branch, we would have but 1-ene. The branch is on carbon 3 and is a methyl group. The longest chain for this example is 5. We're numbering from the end closest to the double bond and we have two of the same group. Without the branches, we would have pent to ene. The branches are on 2 and 3 and are of the same type, so can be put in together. We just need to remember to put in the di. They are both methyl, so we have 2,3-dimethyl-pent-2-ene. For this example, the longest chain is through the middle. And for numbering, we're going to go for the end from the left to the right. Although the double bond is symmetrical, we have three branches and when you have the choice, you want to keep the branches as the lowest numbers as possible. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So when we come to look at the branches, we have two, two, four, rather than numbering from the other side where we would have three, five, five. Without the branches, we would have hex, three, ene. All three branches are the same type. We have two on number two and one on number four. We then need to put in tri to show that we have three of them and then methyl. In this final example, our longest chain containing the double bond is through the middle. We're going to number from the left and identify our branches. We have two different types of branches here, an ethyl and a methyl, so they will need to be named alphabetically. Ignoring the branches for now, the base of our molecule is hex2ene. When naming them alphabetically, the ethyl will come before the methyl. So the very start of the name will be 3-ethyl, followed by 4-methyl. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you find it helpful. Please remember to subscribe if you've not already and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. You can also follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem for regular updates on new videos and Miss Adams Chemistry on Instagram for flashcards throughout the year. Bye for now!